Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How do you do? No trouble finding the way. No, none at all. Mr. Hester oh. sent us in his carriage. Good, good. Yes. I believe that you and Dr. Aziz met already. Oh, oh yes, indeed. Yes, and how nice to see you again. Dr. Aziz. Mrs. Moore told me how kind you were to her, Dr. Aziz. I'm especially pleased to meet you. Yes, and she wants to understand a little about India, too. Oh, who understands yes. India? Mm. Not the Indians, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, sit down. Yes, thank you. Mm. I, uh, I heard from Mrs. Moore that she understood more about India from a few minutes' talk with you than in all the weeks since we landed. <laughs> yes, I did indeed. Um, Dr. Aziz, I wonder if you would be able to explain a disappointment we had this morning. Well, of course, it may be some form of Indian etiquette. Oh, no, 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 there is no question of etiquette. We are by nature a most informal people. <laughs> uh, may I know the facts? Well, an Indian couple had invited us to call them and were to send their carriage for us. We waited and waited and, and waited. It never came. No, oh, some misunderstanding, I'm sure. Mm. Oh, no, it wasn't that. They even put up going to Calcutta to entertain us. Mm. I think they were ashamed of their house and that is why they did not send us. Ah, yes, now that's, that's quite uh, possible, you know. <laughs> I do so hate mysteries. How very English are you, Miss Cassidy? I dislike them not because I'm English, but from a personal point of view. Well, I rather like mysteries. But I do dislike muddles. That's all over now. Yes. It's all over now. My dear Fielding, what is keeping you? There is to be a celebration at my house, but Aziz refuses to move without you. Come along. Well, Miss Crested has just been explaining a little of her conduct this morning. Well, perhaps the age of miracles has returned. One must be prepared for anything, everything, our philosophers say. The, the, the fact is that... Um, I realized my mistake before it was too late. That, that is all my extraordinary conduct amounts to. All it amounts to, indeed. I see you drag my best friend into the dirt, damage his health, ruin his prospects in a manner that you cannot possibly conceive owing to your ignorance of our society and our religion. And then suddenly you get up on the witness box. Oh no, Mr. McBride, uh, after all, I'm not uh, quite sure. You may as well let him go. Is this a dream, I keep asking myself? Or if it is, am I mad? If this is a dream, when did it start? Come, Fielding, let us leave this callous woman. Oh, please, please don't let me detain you. I, um, I, I should be leaving. Anyway, the crowds must have cleared by now. And don't forget, Miss Quested, there will be costs. You will have to pay. Amrit Rao has fixed the compensation at 20,000 rupees. 